In a world not so far from our own, in the age of chivalry and exploration, the tale of King Henry VIII unfolds. Henry VIII, 1491-1547, is one of the most written about kings in English history. He established the Church of England and the Royal Navy. This intriguing monarch reigned during the 16th century, a time when Europe was undergoing significant changes. The Renaissance was in full bloom, fostering a new wave of artistic and intellectual pursuits. Simultaneously, the Age of Discovery saw adventurers setting sail to explore the unknown. Henry increased the size of the Royal Navy by ten times. Fearing attacks from France and Spain after his separation from Rome, Henry invested heavily in the Royal Navy. Amidst this backdrop on June 28, 1491, a future king was born. Henry VIII was the second son of King Henry VII and Elizabeth of York, who never expected to ascend the throne. However, the unexpected death of his elder brother Arthur in 1502, altered the course of history, steering young Henry towards kingship. At just 17 years of age, he ascended the throne, radiating charisma, intelligence, and physical prowess. Henry's reign marked a period of drastic change and reformation in England. He is most known for his six marriages, a topic of great interest and controversy. His first marriage to Catherine of Aragon lasted for 24 years, but ended in divorce a decision that would forever change the religious landscape of England. In his quest to secure a male heir, Henry broke with the Catholic Church, establishing the Church of England and declaring himself its supreme head. This move known as the English Reformation not only changed the religious fabric of the nation but also allowed Henry to consolidate his power and authority. Henry's subsequent marriages to Anne Boleyn, Jane Seymour, Anne of Cleves, Catherine Howard, and finally Catherine Parr, were filled with drama, intrigue, and tragedy. His wives bore him three surviving children, Mary, Elizabeth, and Edward, all of whom would eventually rule England. While his personal life often overshadows other aspects of his reign, Henry VIII was also a significant political and military leader. He modernized England's government and navy, laying the groundwork for England's later global dominance. In January 1547 at the age of 55, Henry VIII passed away leaving behind a complex legacy. His reign filled with political maneuvering, religious upheaval and personal drama, has become one of the most studied periods of English history. The legacy of King Henry VIII is as multifaceted as the man himself. His decision to break with the Catholic Church forever changed the religious landscape of England, and his modernization efforts helped transform England into a major world power. However, his frequent marriages and the mistreatment of his wives have earned him a reputation as a ruthless and tyrannical ruler. Yet, despite these controversies, Henry VIII remains a fascinating figure, his life and reign a testament to the intrigue, power and drama of the Tudor era. Henry was an intellectual, the first English king with a modern humanist education. He read and wrote English, French and Latin, and owned a large library. He annotated many books and published one of his own, and he had numerous pamphlets and lectures prepared to support the reformation of the church. Richard Sampson's Oratio, 1534, for example, was an argument for absolute obedience to the monarchy and claimed that the English church had always been independent of Rome. So, the tale of King Henry VIII serves as a compelling reminder of the complexities of history, where personal desires and political necessity often intertwine, shaping nations and leaving lasting legacies. It's a tale of power, passion, and transformation, a tale that continues to captivate us centuries later. And as we delve into the annals of history we discover not just the story of a king, but the story of a nation and its people, forever marked by the reign of Henry VIII.